I made it! What is up guys? So if you follow along with me on Instagram, then you probably know that I'm going to an event for school and I missed my flight yesterday <laughs> to go to Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm going to school for um, HCIs to be a health coach and I totally missed my flight late yesterday. Potentially maybe missing my hot air balloon. I hope not. But um, funny thing is like I literally could never get through security. Like I'll never be able to smuggle drugs because I'm the person that they always randomly like swap test or put me through the scanners like every single time. It is the funniest thing. Also, I got my coffee. I was gonna get food, but my flight board's in uh, 15 minutes, so I don't wanna miss another flight. <laughs> so I might just not, because this took probably, it felt like 20 minutes to get my coffee, but it wasn't 20 minutes, it was like five, but I'm over exaggerating. But I found the quietest area in the airport, because I'm still not comfortable being in front of the camera. It's really awkward, like I tried turning it on, and I was like, I just can't do it. People are like looking at me, I'm like, <laughs> That's really cool. I'm gonna take you guys for a walk. So, just kidding about my uh, flight boarding in 15 minutes. That's literally not boarding for another like 20 minutes. So, I got myself a Jugo juice. Normally I get Mighty Kale. I always get Mighty Kale. Like since I can remember getting Jugo Juice, I've always gotten Mighty Kale. I've tried maybe two others. So today I'm gonna try the Kale Nut. And um, it's kind of, it was the healthiest version, but the rest of them were like loaded with sugar. So I went and got this because it has um, coconut milk and almond milk in it, which isn't as bad for you. So that is my story about the, the kale. Or <laughs> that's my story about Jugo Juice. It's not bad. It's not as good as my account. But that's because there's so much sugar. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't really eat a lot of gluten if I can help it. And dairy, usually, I try to avoid. Also, high levels of sugar. Um, I already put sugar in my coffee. So I try to avoid high stuff like that. And honestly, everything in this airport is just like not good. But. Um, apparently I'm just gonna do a smoothie diet until I get to Phoenix because I don't eat any of the food here and it's hard to be healthy in an airport. <laughs> I know. I feel your guys' pain. So anyways, I think I'm about to board here soon and um, we're gonna be in Phoenix next stop so see you there. The wind finally sat, decided to die down, so I guess I'll take this moment to speak. If I can get this thing right. I'm gonna break this camera before I even have a chance to do anything with it. All right, we are in Phoenix, and this is beautiful compared to Calgary. There's still snow on the ground, but for real, this is the funniest story. This is Ali. Say hi. hi. So, Instagram, actually social media in general is like, it's, it's pretty powerful because I did not know this girl from a hole in the wall until she messaged me or I maybe I messaged her on Instagram. Anyways, doesn't matter. We met off of Instagram and God bless her soul because I was not supposed to come on this trip because one of the roommates that I was supposed to stay with actually ended up not being able to go. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I don't know what the hell that loud ass machine is back there, but it's very intrusive in this video, but that's fine. We're just going to go with it. Um, but she wasn't able to go so I wasn't able to go and then Ali actually extended her hand out and now I'm staying in her room with her thank god because this is a lot of fun and this is way nicer than Calgary but um, I'm just gonna show you guys the city because uh, it's pretty windy and I'm sure you probably can't hear me so that works
We're good, we're good. I'm okay, we're good here. We're great here. <laughs> I am literally freaking out. Yes, tis true, we are in the desert. There may or may not be snakes. Seems like a good idea at the time until we get bitten by a snake in Phoenix. walking in this beautiful thing like look at this what is this just like a little pathway this is so pretty but i have got to lay down in the palm tree so i'm doing that right now Clever. Perfect, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, we're gonna get keys to the, the fridge. Like who? <laughs> so this is our fridge. Like what kind of fridge is this? So <laughs> we were gonna fill up our garbage bins of ice because we just got groceries. <laughs> but apparently we don't have to anymore, thank God. our way to a little event called Dress to Impress. Um, not to, no, not impress, to express. Oh, Ellie, I'm grabbing, and then I'm just gonna grab. I actually go behind this counter. I'm, I'm sure people work here, but I just like go behind this counter and help myself, because I don't really care, but I got my swag. And then I just like use this, because I'm so gutless. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be my lookout. <laughs> Just help me. It's like legitimately like a little stand. 
and I don't care. <laughs> just, I need my tea. Like this is the only good place to find like hot water and there's like nobody here. So we're going to a little event called Dress to Express, not impress. And I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like cause like obviously I didn't really dress up for any of it. <laughs> we're actually wearing the same thing that we've been wearing all day. But anyways, we'll see what happens. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm so cool that I'm drinking my sleepy time tea while I'm gonna be there. <laughs> cause um, I need to prepare to sleep. <laughs> So I'm going to a party and gonna be drinking sleepy time tea. Anybody else? Is that just me? No? Yeah, she's laughing at me. So that didn't last very long. We literally walked in there for like, I don't even know, a couple minutes um, and left because it's kind of late and I'm a little tired. I'm drinking my sleep Thai tea, so not really there to party, but check this out in the background. How pretty is that? That is so beautiful. So I'm pretty excited about that, but honestly, I was gonna go and like chat with people, but you can't even hear anything, so. Good night, HCI. It was a fun first day. Um, actually, it was amazing, hands down. Probably one of the most incredible nights I've had in a really long time. And I learned so much, and there's just hair on my face and getting in my mouth, so that's awesome. But anyways, um, learned a ton, and mind is like, like blowing. Like, I can't even process half the stuff that I learned, so um, I'm excited for tomorrow and to see what that brings, but for now, Good night all, because it is late. This is probably one of my favorite places in the world right now. Like, I'm dead to the world tired, but I could not pass this opportunity up. Like, look at these palm trees, and just like right above me. And how they're overlapping, and it's just so peaceful and quiet here, other than those random girls walking by. Anyways, um, it's so peaceful and quiet here and like there's fountains going and they have these really cute couches. Just like, can I stay? Can you take me in? <laughs> Phoenix, can I stay? It's for a little bit longer. I know it's only day one, but it feels like every trip that you always have that just passes by so fast. And you really need to take in these moments and just like appreciate them for what they are because um, they only last as long. And they only last for the amount of time that you're here and you never know when you're gonna come back and I don't know when I'm gonna come back. So um, just taking it all in, I guess. That's my speech for the night. And there's some girl like staring at me, like smiling because I'm on this camera. I'm still not used to people like look, give me weird looks, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> look at me. But look at the palm trees. like. Holy. Sorry guys, I'm obsessed. Little things in life, that's what matters. 